So next techniques, it's more, we say, after made it kind of dodge and burn to bring some highlights in shadows. And plus additional step to make mostly for the male body add extra those gringy kind of look on the skin. If you're not familiar with dodge and burn techniques, I highly recommend for you to check our additional tutorials at a Geek at Play Studio YouTube channel or website. So let's go do step by step. Right here we have it one model and I'm going to just duplicate the layer. Okay, and I call auto dodge and burn. So next what I want to do for this, it is image adjustment and we'll go to convert this to black and white. I'm going to adjust some reds and yellows because they will represent to the skin to give it a little bit more depth to this. So let's go pop up a little bit red, make a little bit highlights and also bring a little bit yellowish up. Okay, my next step, what I want to do, it is going in adjustments and work with shadow in highlights. If you are in a simple mode, click right here to show more options checkbox. Okay, next we're going to work with amount of shadows. I'll take amount and bring all the way to the 100. We'll take also highlights and bring them to the 100%. Next, I want to take various on just slightly reduce, maybe about 20, make smaller. And now we can adjust tone. What I want to do is bring a little bit more definition depth in the image by adjusting. So the highlights, you can see how they become a little bit brighter. And because we'll go take this layer after and switch to soft light, it's mean the white kind of brighter, they become more um, wider, more kind of bright overall. So like luminosity almost increase and a darker increase more. So we add more definition and depth to this. So by playing with this, you can define if you want to create how depth, I think. Creating about this will work very well. We don't want too depth. Let's go click OK. And again, we're working on unedited, unretouched images or straight out of the camera right now. So let's go next. What I want to do, even in this point, we switch to the soft light. You'll see its effect. But for the male step, what I want to do is go to the filter, sharpen, go to unsharp mask. OK. And actually, I want to pop up amount quite a bit. We could increase also pixels in a big image. And you can see it will adding already this kind of more gringy effect, but it will just point 1.7 safe and just leave it around 100%. Let's click OK and we'll go switch to the soft light. So right here you can see already we come closer to the image, okay. like a muscle definition, other stuff. You can see before and after we added this almost like a GRI look to this. Could we add more dodge and burn on some areas, kind of after made it. Again, by hand, you have more control. Think about this is overall adjustment. And if we look on the skin, you can see it's add extra green effect to the skin. Okay, so overall, you can see right here before and after. And again, if you think this is a little bit too strong, you can modify and just bring slightly down. So here's a few simple steps to creating kind of automated dodge and burn effect on your photo.